Hello children, how are you? Hope you all are fine. Now that you have enjoyed your holidays, it's time to get back to our studies, right? So let us begin with our online classes, right? Today, what we are going to do? Today, we are going to do the revision, right? We have already finished this lesson, Adaptations in Animals. So, today we will do the revision in part 1 of Adaptations in Animals, right? So, let us begin. So, for this you should understand what is the habitat okay see as you see in your surrounding like plants there are different types of animals also found right and they are found everywhere right on the on the land in the water on the mountains huh? so different places are there where you will find different types of plants or animals and the surrounding or the environment or you can say the place where you find an animal or a plant that is called its habitat right so habitat is a place where the animal or plant lives survive yes so accordingly the earth has got many habitats okay like cold mountains polar regions open grasslands, thick rainforest, deserts which are hot and dry, okay, and rivers or salty oceans, seas, everywhere you will find some kind of animals. And accordingly, the living conditions in these habitats are also different from each other. Yes, what, what, what are the conditions are there on the land? They will be different on the on the uh, mountain or in water also, right? So accordingly, animals they are able to survive in their habitat because they are adapted to do so. Yes. So now I will tell you the different habitats like they are mentioned here in the slide. It is terrestrial animals means the animals living on the land then aquatic animals living in the animals that live in the water then is the amphibians amphibians means those animals which can live on land and in water okay they can live both on land and in water next is arboreal arboreal animals means the animals which spend most of their time on trees okay like monkeys right next is aerial animal aerial animals means the animals which spend most of their time in air means the animals you can see you can say that animals which fly and what is the most common animal that fly they are the birds right see now here are the pictures of different terrestrial animals okay you can see a jaguar in a rainforest next is zebras in grassland see here is a camel okay very well known camel which lives in the desert it has got long legs so that as you know there are there is sand everywhere in the desert okay and very little water so the legs are of the camel which are long they they help it to walk in the sun and some other desert animals are like rats some lizards okay see these are the polar animals which are found in the cold climate polar region is very cold this is the this is the polar bear also penguins are found in the cold regions right See, these are some of the aquatic animals. These are the fishes, okay, which are found in water. Other animals which live in water are seals, right, as you see in the picture. See, 
these are the amphibians like i told you amphibians means the animals which are able to live on land and in water okay and most common amphibian is the frog you see them many times many places another is salamander okay these these animals are able to live on the land and also in the water see more amphibians are like crocodile and tortoise okay these are also able these animals are also able to live on land and in water they are adapted to live on the land when they are on the land they breathe through the lungs and while they are in the water they breathe through their moist skin okay further these are the arboreal animals like i told you the animals which spend most of their time on the trees okay they have got strong arms and and tail also okay like monkeys have the monkey can swing through the uh, with the help of its tail to the trees and they climb and they jump from one tree to another okay so these animals they spend they are called arboreal because they spend most of the time on the on the trees see these are the aerial animals aerial animals means the animals which spend most of their time in the air while flying you can say and birds are called aerial because they are most of the birds they fly in the air they have got wings to do so right their body is covered with the feathers and they have got wings to fly their front legs are converted into the wings right and they are able to fly in the air now let us do some activity right see here what you have to do you have to identify the habitat of these animals right what you can see in the picture it is elephant right another picture is of squirrel right children now you have to tell what is the habitat you will find these animals in okay whether it is aquatic and whether it is amphibian or terrestrial or aerial or arboreal which type of animals these are okay so very well known elephant is a terrestrial okay its habitat is terrestrial and this one is arboreal right children hmm? see here you will see the answer slide okay another is fish and camel as you know very well fish is a aquatic because it lives in the water while camel is a desert animal and so we can call it as terrestrial right hmm? next see here this is the answer slide next is a picture of a bird right and another is a tortoise this is a parrot so parrot as you very well know it is an aerial okay right hmm? and tortoise as i told you is able to live on the land and in water so it is an amphibian so we'll mark it with the amphibian right children see here understood hmm? next this activity you have to find the words in this given grid okay and the the words which you have to find the clues are given in in the left side as you say the so first one is living on land you have to find the word what is it called in this given grid okay another is living in water yes do you know what is it called yes i know you must be knowing by now it is aquatic right children next is living on land and in water what type of animals are those they are amphibians right next is living on trees it is arboreal and last one is spending a lot of time in air that is aerial so now you have to find these words in this given grid okay so let us start first one is living on land means it, it should be terrestrial right 
so and see here i can find this word i can see this word this is the terrestrial right hmm okay then next one see here answer also is given okay next one is living in water means it should be aquatic and see here i can find the word aquatic here yes children hmm see here you will find aquatic correct another one living on land and in water as you very well know it is amphibian right so where is the amphibian yes right on the top i can see right children see here is the amphibian hmm see here i'll show this is the amphibian correct okay next one is living on trees so which animal lives on trees they are called arboreal the animals which live on trees are called arboreal and where is the word arboreal i can see just below the amphibian in a in a observe means downwards see here is the arboreal okay the word is getting see up to here and i show you the answer correct children okay next one is spending a lot of time in air and the word is right at the last line okay but it is getting blocked here from here it starts here okay i'll show you here is the area see here right so these are the different types of habitats where you find different types of animals okay children so i hope you understood what is habitat in the next part we are going to discuss about or you can say revise about the adaptations which animals are adapted with okay so that they can survive in this these different types of habitats till then i'll take your leave thank you take care